CBS Sports HQ presented by Jersey Mike Subs. The Drake Bulldogs hanging on to the 68th spot in Jerry Palm's field of 68. They just have to wait it out this week after losing in the NBC Championship game Sunday. They do have a couple things going for them. They're supposed to have their best player, Tank Hemphill, back for the tournament. And they were 6-2 and two against Quad 1 and Quad 2 teams this season. Drake, part of that last four in grouping, joined by Xavier, VCU, and Boise State. Joined now by Drake head coach Darren DeVries, who just won his second Missouri Valley Coach of the Year award in his third year with the Bulldogs. Coach, I'm just going to give you the floor here. Tell us why your Drake Bulldogs should hear their name called by Greg Gumbel on CBS this Sunday. Well, I think they deserve it. Uh, number one, you know, I, I think when you look at our entire season, entire body of work, and specifically the quad one, quad two uh, record, uh, you know, we're sitting at six and two right now. So in those those opportunities, uh, we made the most of them. And you look at, um, you know, we were able to play a lot of games this year. And, you know, we lost our MTE early in the year, which had two quad one, quad two opportunities. Um, we lost another bye game that we were going to go to Colorado um, that had to get canceled. And then we had to find all bus trips for our non-conference games. So the only games we could play were, you know, games where we could get on a bus and go play. And our options were go play the games or not play the games. And I wanted our guys to get the opportunity to compete. And we went and did that and, um, you know, made the most of those opportunities. And, uh, you know, throughout the season and stuff, you look at the COVID pauses and the injuries that our team have had to overcome and they've continued to, you know, not only, um, you know, move forward, but play well and, and continue to win. Uh, I, I think, the, you know, all of that says we belong. One of the knocks is going to be your strength of schedule. And you mentioned how difficult it, it was this season to schedule. Uh, you beat a Big 12 team. You beat a Mountain West team. Those teams, I mean, not, not any fault of your own, but those teams didn't end up being that good. So, you know, how difficult was it, looking back on this season, to, to get a good strength of schedule? Yeah, we did everything we could. You know, once uh, the game started getting canceled, uh, you know, we we got in an MTE at Kansas State. Um, and I know Kansas State didn't have a great year, but, you know, Oklahoma went there and lost. You still got to go win that game, and, and we were able to do that. Uh, you know, the rest of the games, there's not that many bus trips, you know, around that we could go play. We reached out to... Uh, you know, most of the, the schools that could have helped our schedule and there just wasn't opportunities there. So again, you know, some of our strength of schedule got hurt because we chose to play the games and I do it again uh, because I think our guys deserve to play. We were one of the few teams in the country that maximized all the all the opportunities to play games. And and that's what it's all about is, is our guys wanted to play and we found games for them to play and um, and they did um, you know they did what they should do and they went and, and won those games and and played well in those games and then again I go back to uh, the quad one quad two we're six and two in those opportunities and and that's one of the you know best win percentages in the country um, and and we took advantage of those opportunities when we got them and and there's not much we could do in a year like this with the pandemic and and COVID and and things um, and that's all we can do and that's uh, you know our guys did what they could with the schedule that uh, we put in front of them. The one ace up your sleeve could be uh, something that hindered you during the season. You lost a couple of your starters, but but you're hoping to get one of them back for the NCAA tournament, Tank Hemphill. How is he doing right now? Will he be ready come next Friday or Saturday? And how do you expect the selection committee to judge you guys on that? Yeah, I think two things. One, uh, we lost Roman Penn. Uh, who, who was a really good player for us. Um, but the good news is the guy we replaced him with, Joe Yesifu, is averaging almost 25 points a game uh, since then. And then Tank Hemfeld, uh, who we anticipate having back uh, for next week, uh, we were 18-1 and one with him in the lineup, and he was our, you know, one of our leading scorers and rebounders. And, and uh, so and when we add him back to the fold, I, I think it only adds to you know what our team is as in terms of an NCAA tournament team. Uh, but again, I, I think it's more about the collection of, of all of our parts. Uh, you know, it's not just a, a one-man team. We, we got a, a group of guys that all play well together, play extremely hard and unselfish and um, I, I think they deserve the, uh, to be in. I think they're an NCAA tournament team. Having said all that, and, and I, you, Coach, I, you seem like an optimist to me, but when you look at your crystal ball, you look ahead to Sunday, what do you expect to hear? Where do you expect to be going? 
Uh, we 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 want we expect to be going to Indianapolis, and that's uh, um, again. I, I feel like um, the, this team has done what they needed to do uh, to get that opportunity, and and um, uh, we're looking forward to it. So uh, it's an exciting week for us, and and uh, we can't wait for um, you know Sunday's uh, Sunday's announcements. I know you're not in uh, any position right now to start looking back at how things are going for you at Drake because you're in a position where you're hoping to go to the NCAA tournament and win games. But I just want to take you back a, a few years when you, you know, the, the, the national audience might not know this, but you tried for this Drake job three different times. It wasn't until that third time that you actually got it. What kept you coming back after you kept getting denied? Well, I think things always happen for a reason, you know, and um, I, I've always felt like this was an opportunity that, that really fit me. Uh, I thought it was, um, you know, something that my family would really enjoy. I have a lot of family around here. So um, I knew what the job was and I thought I had a good understanding of, of what it would take uh, for, for us to be successful here. And, and um, you know, fortunately, it's all worked out and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, all that being said, did you expect to have this much success in your first three seasons? Two-time coach of the year, you've won a regular season championship, and now on the cusp of a potential at-large bid. Well, we've been very fortunate that, you know, in our, our first year, we were able to get a great group of guys that, um, and they started it all. And, and, you know, we've been able to build on it from there. But uh, when you have, you know, great people in your locker room and, and things, uh, they, they make it really easy and, and, um, and, you know, and a great staff as well. So I think there's just a lot of things that, that fell into place really quickly. And, and we've been very fortunate from that regard. One more for you, Coach. You've been a part of a bunch of NCAA tournament teams from your time at Northern Iowa to the long time at Creighton. You had some great teams with Greg McDermott and Doug McDermott there as a great player. How does this team compare to all those other teams that you were a part of that went to the NCAA tournament and won games? Yeah, I think they're very similar in the fact that uh, you know, we got great balance and great chemistry, you know, and um, you know, great leadership. And I think those are all uh, important factors. And, and we're an older group too, you know, a veteran group. So I think when you look at our team and, and say, you know, I, Compare it to those teams, you got to have all the parts, and I feel like we have all the parts. And uh, you're going to have them all next season, too. You're expecting everybody to come back? We are. Uh, so we're certainly excited about that as well. And, and uh, uh, But we got some work to do this year yet uh, before we, we turn that page, but uh, certainly excited about um, th those opportunities as well. Well, make sure you get one spot opened up for your son, Tucker, the four star top 100 recruit coming your way next season. I know you can't wait to, to watch him later on today in the high school tournament. Congratulations on a great season, coach, and uh, we hope to hear your name called on Sunday. Thank you. Appreciate it. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.